I just got back from a couple hours of battling the jungle again. Today, I got stung right here and on the back of my leg. Luckily, after I got stung the first time, I realized what it was and quickly looked up, saw the swarm of bees or hornets, I don't know what they were, turned and ran. Unfortunately, I was in a swamp. And uh, just imagine taking all of the furniture in your house, piling it into one room, not standing up, just jumbled all over the place, and then flooding that room to like three feet deep. And then try to get across that room without falling in the water. That's where it's like walking through the swamp. And I was trying to run. I was running along this log that had been there for I don't know how long, super slippery and everything. Holding my machete away from myself so I don't fall and land on it, of course. I'm not an idiot. <clears throat> but then I came to this tree that I had just come across. So I was trying to like hurdle that without breaking it, falling in the water. Ah, I did manage to get over it and uh, land on the other side of the log. But then the next step, my leg went off the side and I fell in the water. I didn't totally fall. I didn't go up to my head or anything. But yeah, I jumped out and kept running and running and running. Got away from the bugs. They only stung me one more time. Anyway, I think I'm making progress. I'm starting to figure out where, where my border is on that property. Yesterday I got lost in the, the same swampy area. Man, that swampy area is so confusing. Because it's not only like like a bunch of piles of furniture where you can only step in some areas. You also can't see anywhere because there's, there's trees everywhere. So you can't see very far. So yesterday I found my, my corner post, you know, like the, the, the edge of my property that's the corner. And I was like going along this side and I was like, okay, let me find the, the marker that's over there. And it was about 50 meters away, according to my GPS thing. Now the GPS thing doesn't work that well because there's trees everywhere blocking the signal. So it kind of the signal kind of goes in and out. So I'm going that way and checking every once in a while on the GPS. And at some point I realize, oh, I've passed where I, I'm supposed to be. I've gone past the marker. So I try to turn and, and go toward it. But then I'm like, oh, there's some dry land. Let me just get on the dry land because I've been slogging through not slogging through so much, but kind of slogging through some swamp. Staying on the, you know, the lumps of ground as I go. But I was like, oh, there's some like 20 foot high dry ground. Let me just get on that. And then try to go to where I'm going. Well, the, the high ground did not know, did not go where I needed to go. And it was, I was trying to kind of curve around. Anyway, very quickly, I got to a point where I was like, where the... I don't know where I am, which direction I'm aiming. I don't know how to get back. Ah! At one point, I walked about, I don't know, 50 meters, like straight into the jungle, hoping I was going out of the jungle. Um, luckily, I, you know, I kept my wits about me, didn't lose my marbles. And I knew that I, w I wouldn't get super lost because I have the ocean on one side, a stream on the other side, and then... Uh, a friend's property over on the other side so I was hemmed in by those things and uh, then my neighbor started his generator and I was like oh now I have something to hear that's that's a, a known direction and I can keep listening to that because when you're walking through this swamp like you can't walk in straight lines you have to kind of walk like this and it's you just you know ten steps go by and you're like I think I'm still walking west and it's like you're walking southeast um, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to explain to someone who's never experienced like being in a forest you know they say you can get lost in the forest like that and one of the things I did when I first moved to the forest like 15 years ago in Vermont was uh, you know I had my my camp set up where I was building a dome and I had a spring and there was a cliff face there it's all stuff I recognized I knew that area very well but then there was this hill that went up into unknown forest. And I was like, I want to test this out. I want to see how easy it really is to get lost in the forest. I'm going to walk up into that forest just for like a minute. So I, so I walked up into the forest for about a minute, maybe less. And I turned around and I just got this like sudden, like mild panic. Like, where the... F I, I have no idea where I am. I don't even know which direction I'm aiming now. 
And I thought about it and I was like, I just turned around. Did I turn around and make a 180 or did I turn like just part way or I, I don't know. So I tried to look back to see I was just going that way. I should recognize something. No, everything looks the same. It's all just trees and they're all the same. Obviously, they're not all the same, but it's like they're pretty much all the same. So anyway, I picked the direction I thought was was going to get me back. And I'm walking along, and I get to this cliff face, and I'm like, ah, okay, this has got to be the same cliff face as the one I know. That means I should be somewhere near the path. And I look around, and I'm like, oh, I'm practically standing on the path that goes to my house. So I walked out, and I came back like 45 degrees off course, just going out for like a minute. And that's when, I, that's when I learned how easy it is to get lost in a forest or a jungle. Because um, like in a city, you always, have, uh, you, know, you always have streets, and you can see really far, so there are landmarks you can see. Uh, and everything's, everything's on grids, except in Boston, where everything's a spaghetti street. But generally speaking, in a, in a city or any kind of suburb or anything like that, you've got grids. So you, you, can, you can walk straight. But take away... Just imagine you're in a, an unknown neighborhood and take away all the street signs. You don't know where you are, right? You know, do I go down this street, that street, that street? Okay, now make it so you can only see like 20 feet ahead of you in any or in any direction. And then you're like, I don't even know, is there a street up there? Is there a street behind me? And then take away the street and the houses. And then make it so you can only walk on certain spots. It's so easy to get lost in the jungle. Just, just like that. Anyway... Scouting out the jungle is going well, despite, you know, getting lost and stung and stuff. That's all part of the adventure to me, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, I'm starting to get an idea of the, the layout and where, where might be a good place to build a, build a house, workshop stuff. And where, more importantly, where I want to start growing food. Because that's, like, the biggest reason I want to start doing stuff over there is because there's a really good area along this stream that's very fertile land where I can grow food and I want to build some buildings over there so my family can come hang out I don't want to just go by myself and you know be farming all day just by myself I want those guys to come and hang out so I want to build like a place a cool place where they can hang out ah, all right I think I need to go have some dinner it's exhausting slogging through that forest